I'm the boss. Hey yo, this is Mr. Fixit here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate or else.
We have traveled the stars. We have traveled through time. We came across one unmistakable truth. The future is wrestling. We have brought the best wrestlers from across time and space to compete for honor and glory. This is Stone's Galactic Wrestling Federation. What the universe is watching. here jeffy for the 701st time uh welcome to sgwf wrestling today is wednesday october 23rd 2024 and no stone today is paragon's day or night this is the one where carrie would like lose her mind and scream at the top of her lungs maybe not top of her lungs but she tried to go long she just couldn't go as long as I can go along. Hey, hey, Dizzle. How are you all doing? How are you? How are you? Let me scroll up to say some hellos. That's me doing the card. Honk, honk. Carrie was first in chat. Not by much, though. LB, how are you? Yeah, I did no idea that J.K. Simmons was the yellow m and I'm like, what? And I watched the clip while we're waiting for it to load. Or waiting for the show to start. I'm like, oh, man. Adams, how are you, man? Thing, the things you learn. Uh, heist started. Dante, how are you? Thank you for contributing to our challenges. Rosa, como estas, mi amiga? All right, heist results are in. I died. Uh, what the hell, bro? Oh, wait, I had a vision that everyone died, so I decided to not go. Then I was found dead a week later. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So I've got like seven days to go. Sounds about right. Carrie made it. Adams made it. Dante got hit by Zorz with a steel chair. After putting ketchup on steak. That is amazing, Dante. <laughs> I can't even plan that. I mean, I, I guess in theory I could, but whatever. Um, yeah, that theme that you're listening to, I think that was uh, pretty sure is one of the special ops girls, except for Jinx. I, I want to say it's Lady J, but I'm not sure. Because I felt like it was more G.I. Joe-ish, like hero. Oh. Anyways, Bobby, how are you, man? How are you? How are you? Bobby, I uh, got your message. If you guys want to talk to each other beforehand, cool. But I will message you guys after to be like, like, I need like a team name. Uh... A tag team finisher that's all not already picked and those are all listed in discord under tag team finishers um and then like entrance music if you guys want to do separate music like if you want to do different music or you guys can pick one theme song for coming in and then the other for winning you know uh and then the entrance motion that's pretty much it it doesn't take a lot to set up a tag team Dazul, Dazul, how are you? <laughs> uh, Golden Star was shaken. 
Bobby, thank you for contributing to our challenges. Hola, Strong Grabs. Todo bien. Gracias. A to N. Uh, I am. I'm doing okay. E2 Amigo. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Doing good. Doing good. Bien, bien. Uh, bueno. Uh, Tazul, thank you for contributing to our challenges. Golden Star, what's up, man? How are you? All right. Uh, there's no lurker matches today, like nothing pre, and I'm not planning on running one after, so we're just going to do our nine matches. Uh, if there's any lurker matches I could draw on, we can schedule for another day. So it's no problem. Um, but yeah, I've kind of gone through all the lurker matches that people have actually given me. There's still some that are outstanding, but... Um, I don't know the details, so I can't schedule them, right? And I don't want to, like, go bug people. So, news, news, news. Uh, news, news, news. Let me go look at the logs. Okay, so we have a new wrestler joined us. Is Gabriel Mor Morgans, managed by Iga. He will be on the Nova brand. Nova will also have Zartan returning. Snake Eyes and... Storm Shadow will be moving to Paragons, this brand, as the Blade Runners. So that team is coming here. And Tomax and Zaymot, the Crimson Twins, are getting benched. Uh, which meant that we were going to be short a tag team. However, based on uh, Discord chat, it looks like we have a team going to be formed between Freak Show and Big Bad Bobby D. That'll put us at back at 12 men's teams. Um, three of the men's teams are NPC tag teams. So we have room for player tag teams. And I'd much prefer player tag teams than, or not player, but you know what I mean? Like you all, viewer, viewer tag teams versus uh, non-viewer tag teams. But, uh... Adam says, doing well, had to make a presentation to some folks who pissed me off last week. Oh, boy. LB, thank you for contributing to our marble challenge. Uh, oh, Golden Star says, how good? All good here, brother. Thanks for asking. Uh, I'm doing pretty good, man. Yeah. And I'm glad that you're doing good. Glad that everyone's doing good. Uh, came in like the subject matter expert, laid out the pain in the butt process I have, and nailed it. Hey, my boss's boss is on the call, too. Oh, nice. So were they like, uh, sorry? Right? Little Birdie told me Crimson Twins got booted for beating Buck Wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, no, actually, so the reason I chose to, seriously, though, uh, to, to chose to bench those two was because having them wrestle separately um felt like all like always felt weird so that's why i opted okay well let's bench them and move over blade runners because those two re wrestles wrestling separately feels 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 fine right anyways 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 uh it's wrestlemania pre-sale day like what like going to wrestlemania 500 or like the actual show holy moly i mean yeah i guess so it's october so like five months from now a tito shoot sure yeah this is my original tito's admin shirt yeah yeah adams thank you or carrie thank you for contributing to our challenges adams thank you for thank you for contributing to our marble challenge it was a bunch of pms who needed to understand how to scope for onboarding to a system you're going to Mania in Vegas next year. Ooh. Oh, that's exciting, man. Ah, oh, dude. Very excited for you. That That's one thing I'd like uh, to go to at least once in my life, but man, just... I can't... I can't feel good about... Like... I know I could do... Do... Like more right and it's like i really want to go but then i then if i went but then i'd be like ah oh, i can do all this stuff 
for like going there in prison, but I know it's the experience and I know it's gonna like, woo, right? Like you're gonna feel it versus being there and watching, sorry, versus watching on TV, right? So, oh, dude. So you're gonna meet up with some friends in, from California. You try to go every few years, nice, dude. You've only been to Raw once. I went to a Raw, it was, it was not good up here. It was terrible. Next event up in California might be SummerSlam. Ooh. Should be cool if they get Rogers Center. Oh, in Canada, sorry. I was gonna say Rogers Center. That seems like a Canadian thing, but yeah, 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 okay. Got you, got you. There was, uh, there was um, money in the bank up here, like the weekend. So there was the Smack SmackDown on Friday, Money in the Bank, and then NXT on the Sunday. In theory, we could have afforded the tickets, but then we're like, do we really want to drop that amount of money or just sit in our own chairs at home, right? So we opted to stay home. Uh, so WWE is talking about leaving the big four events around the world more. Ooh. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I'd have a problem with that, really. I think the better that WWE does, I think it's going to be better for wrestling overall, especially now with the different um, direction they're going with how everything's going, right? Versus the old way. Like, I think the old way may, it may have worked okay, but I think the vision may not have been there with Vince out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't want to say it, but like, I, like, I don't want to take anything away from everything that that guy did from before, but I, I don't know if it actually works now with, I feel like the audience for wrestling is more evolved. Yeah. I've seen the McMahon stuff on Netflix. Uh, there was a few things I didn't know, but I, it, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't terrible. But I, if, if somebody doesn't know about Vince McMahon, you should go watch it. Cause... Yup. Okay, okay. Uh, we're going to start the triple threat. Maximum bet will be 1,000. One fall to a finish. Yada, yada. Here we go. The following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Los Angeles, California, weighing 104 pounds, Jinx. First time for her being in a triple threat. Whoa, what did I just see? I think that was a graphical issue. Maybe. Freaky D. I am Erectus of the Borg. That is not your designation. <laughs> Dante. that mean it's great hailing from eastern canada wing 180 hailing from eastern canada wing 187 pounds our lady oh i'm having a bad jojo day that is for sure oh god well Good thing we're not JoJo tracking, cause that would have been one. Look at her. She's like, ah! Open a can of whoop ass. This is her first triple threat as well. Oh, 
Oh, Dazul got blocked. Rip. Hailing from Chicago, Illinois, weighing 122 pounds, Lilith Knight. Yeah, I could see them both being in a tag team. Wolf Knight, 11 for 35, and is managed by the principal inspiration for this E-Fed. Do, do, ush. Hey, yo, this is Mr. Fix-It here. To inform you, there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate, or else. I think we have four women's and NPC tag teams. So there's definitely room for some more viewer tag teams, you know? Yeah, our Landy has uh, been on a roll. Th this, this is definitely uh, not including... Oh, she didn't make it to the net title, right? Or did she? I don't think she pulled a Zinda, right? Like, I don't even think she... I, like, I don't think she won the Battle Royal or the Gauntlet. So, this is probably going to be the, her toughest challenge yet. But if we had another women's uh, tag team form, I would probably bench... Special Ops, Lady J and Cover Girl. Hey Isaac, what's up, man? And then I may bring in two other random N NPCs, or actually create two, because I have some sort of thoughts on some stuff. In singles matches, I think she's undefeated. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, there's like a 30 second ad that will play uh, once every hour and it gives us about 10 minutes of no pre-roll ad time. It's like, man, whatever. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, Chuck didn't miss. I think Orlandi hit some kid out in the back. Oh, no. What is she doing? She chucked the kendo stick. It went flying over Lilith Knight. And I thought I saw one of the uh, fans back there actually turn and look to see what the hell did it hit somebody in behind her. I think that person in red that's over there in the fans, like right near the cor the corner tur turnbuckle, I think uh, she kind of turned and looked. Wow. Taking out the fans too. Give my kid free tickets for the next show? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, but, you know. Maybe. Oh, no! Wow! Jinx! I'm gonna, I am clipping that. That was fantastic. I'm clipping that. Wow. Jeffy got slim jimmed at about the 30 minute mark. Wow. That was fantastic. Jeffy got a little bit of Jinx's Slim Jim. Didn't completely knock him over or down, but it was enough to be clip-worthy. That is for sure. Oh, we got heist results are in. Let's see, let's see. Uh, where is it? Adams tripped over their shoelaces. Rip. 
Golden Star went to the art gallery to scope out valuable paintings instead. I fell asleep. Oh, I must be, must be watching me again. Uh, Rosa made it out. Hey, Carrie keeled over from a heart attack. No, thank you. Isaac made it. So two out of six. Jesus. Wow, Lilith Knight. Now, those two were the former tag team. I don't know what I call them. Now, like, they would be like the rockers to me, but... Mm. Lilith Knight picks up the victory. Hemming Jinx. So it doesn't really count as a loss for her landing, but it's an, but it's like a draw for her. Here is your winner, Lilith Knight! Congratulations, Vu. Hey, Vu, how are you, man? We were just saying, Vu, that Lilith Knight here looks... Like, uh, she's got a, like, they're, she, her and Arlandi both have a similar style. Be cool as a tag team, but, uh, uh, where is it? Here we go. I'm, I'm doing okay. Doing okay. Been a busy morning, but once show is over, I'm gonna relax a bit because I have rating late later on tonight let me do payouts um yeah so I tell voodoo to not do this for me but you know and he and he never listens to me but you should actually absolutely go give him a follow he is literally, literally the principal inspiration for our EFED. Literally. Thank you, sir. All right, we've got Snake Eyes taking on you. Snake Eyes got moved over from Nova to Paragon's brand. Uh, maximum bet will be 500. Here we go. And he's an all around great guy. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Queens, New York, weighing 175 pounds, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes is one for four. He is an NPC wrestler. And Stoney, a Twizzler. Oh, I would take a Twizzler. Wait, what? Oops, what? What are you questioning? Then hands out Twizzlers to everyone. How did I win slots? Because a GG is sort of counts as a wild card now. Because if you get all three of them as GG, it's a, a jackpot win. So I'm treating them as like a seven, you know? Sevens like in, anywhere will count as a match or whatever. His opponent, hailing from Beijing, China, weighing 235 pounds, Hughes. Hughes is 8 for 10 in singles matches and is managed by Vexicity. Yeah, so I made the, the change to slots uh, to make it so that it was slightly easier to win as well. Because it felt bad if you got two G G Gs and then one that wasn't, then you're like, oh, you didn't win anything, right? So, uh, yeah. So I figured, you know, I'd want it to count as a win instead. Uh, I've had it for like a month, maybe, now. I don't know, maybe, maybe more. All right, here we go. Jeffy got the Slim Jim in 
match number one, what will he get in match number two? Maybe he will get a ninja sword in his uh, in his hoo hoo. What? I got that in my head. Thanks, Yuz. One. One. Jeffy's like, didn't you hear me? One. Jeffy's like, well, how high can I count? I thought he could only count to four, though. But, oh, wow. Uh, oh, no. Oh, wow. Is that like a Samoan spike? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I do have 20 counts here. So, there's still time. Jeff is like, come on, get in here. Uses up on the top. Oh, double axe handle right to the noggin. Oh, God. Well, I think Snake Eyes may be dead. If Use gets him inside, that man is dead on his feet. Kind of reminded me, uh, I saw like some mma thing where it wasn't like inside of a cage it was like an open ring kind of thing but like the sides were up and like ramp ramp like and uh some dude did like a scissor kick and just knocked the, the guy right out man like boom <laughs> it wasn't and it wasn't even like he kind of like he like he went stiff you know, like one of those where the body just... Uh, holy moly. It could have been kickboxing. He, he did like the scissor kicky thing. And I didn't watch the entire thing. It was just that, that one clip. So I didn't see if they're actually trying to fight with their hands. Uh, I don't recall there being anything... Else. Oh, wow, snake eyes. What the hell? Uh, I didn't. I don't recall them wearing gloves or anything like that. You ever watch bare knuckle fighting? Nope. I mean, I'm not really a big fighting guy, like, but every once in a while I'll watch stuff. <laughs> and it's like, oh, dude. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes. Continues to progress back towards title shot territory. Here is your winner, Yes. Are those face slack competition? Oh, I saw a reel that was not so nice. <laughs> Where a little person got slapped um, and the sound effect was not good. It's like, so I so I chuckled like I'm doing now and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to hell. Straight to hell. All right. This is William Terrence Ford, I think. Is it? Or no, it's Percy. Percy Mochaccino the third. This is your winner.
I did not uninstall Crowd Simulator, but... Anyways, Sephiroth versus Teddy King, maximum bet, 500. Here we go. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, from the pits of hell, weighing 335 pounds, Sephiroth. Sephiroth, 33 for 64, 0-1 against Teddy King in previous matches. He is managed by Sephiroth. That's surprising. I thought you would have after all that. Ma yeah, I know. Uh, well, part of all the madness, that's kind of actually one of the reasons why I don't know if I want to uninstall it. Because if I uninstall it, does that mean I lose all the achievements that I ever got? And then if I reinstall it, is it going to be like, hey, you never did these? And then I'm going to be like, listen, bro, I did. You know? Right? Right? So that's the only thing that is preventing me from getting it off my computer. His opponent! Hailing from San Juan, Puerto Rico, weighing 245 pounds, Teddy King. That was another JoJo. God, love it. Six for 13. Again, has beaten Sephiroth in their only encounter. He is managed by Takia 3D. JoJo! Yup, that's my second one. It should be saved on your account forever. Like on the Steam side, right? But like, let's say if I reinstall the game, will it know? Actually, if it's saved on the Steam side, then I don't care, right? Because then at least it's not. And actually thinking about it, if it goes away forever, am I going to care about these 28 achievements that drove, like, a couple of them drove me crazy? Like the scoring a goal one? Ah, oh, dude. And then the number four? Ah. Uh. <sighs> that... That number four one was just silly. You know, like if if you could chuck it through a window, sure. If you could throw it over the crowd, okay. Crowd simulator. That is exactly how I feel at Christmas time when I was younger and would go to Eaton Center in downtown Toronto. Ooh. It is just stupid packed. So saved on your YouTube channel forever. The evidence is I am not uploading this one <laughs> at all. F it. I do have the recording and it's saved locally on my hard drive. Well, I, and I guess it's going to be on Twitch. The VOD will be on Twitch. I'm not planning on uploading it to YouTube. <laughs> there is too, too much rage, man. <laughs> uh, that damn game. <laughs> oh, wow. I think Teddy King was walking on air a little bit there to help to help him get further. Only a one count. Ah, well, um, maybe he thinks he was wa walking on air because maybe he's on drugs because that move would have only been done if he was clearly on drugs. Yeah, clearly. Oh, Teddy King. Ah! Bye bye. Suffer. Oh, wow. Can't can't handle 
Sephiroth's massive girth. E. O'Neill. Mercy. Mercy, 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 mercy. He's walking on sunshine. Walking on sunshine. A teddy king. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh. Because teddy king feels good. Anyways. <laughs> oh. It's the crab dance. Oh, full creative control on the back of his belt. Sephiroth. Wow. I guess Teddy King is walking on sunshine because he may be dead. Here is your winner, Sephiroth. Full creative control, baby. And I, and I and I decided to do them like this. GG, Goof. That's what we call him. Goof or Sephiroth or... Whatever. Just not late for dinner. Sorry, Tankia. Whatever. Um, whatever. Whatever. What? Ember. Right. Scarlet versus Candy Mandy. Maximum bet. 500. Here we go. We'll find out if that song was hers. Maybe it was hers. Oh, it is Scar. It, it's Scar. It's Scarlet's. The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing 141 pounds, Scarlet. Four for 11 in singles matches. First time going up against Candy Mandy. Uh, I mean, if it does, I'm gonna laugh my ass off, but it shouldn't if Scarlet was facing the Baker. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. And, and I still would. I, you know what? We should have done it anyways. <laughs> Her opponent, hailing from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 140 pounds, Candy Mandy. Candy Mandy, 58 for 98. She is not a real biker chick, apparently. I'm the boss. And is managed by Carrie, who thinks she's the boss. Now with this new beard oil I've got, I feel like the boss. I feel like a different person. I feel bigger and more macho and tougher and more rugged. Anyways. <laughs> so this should, I mean, most likely. Although Carrie is uh, not working right now or today, right? So. So. Uh, yep. I think she's working Thursday, Friday, and then she's off for like a week or two. No? You off now or what? Or is that like next week that you're off after? You're off today. Oh, so you're off starting like now? Like you're off off? Going the whole way to November 4th? Oh, dude. Wow. Well. Oh, 
that's why you were saying that you got that claim. And you're like, um, I shouldn't have gotten this claim. Right, this was supposed to be a potential BlizzCon. That's right. Yep. Yippers. That's right. Because then you would have gone back to work like the Monday after. Or Tuesday after, or something like that, right? Yeah. Whoa. Well, sleepy times for Scarlet. She's dreaming sweet, sweet no, no, nothings uh, about somebody. It depends on which series you look at. And you're going to follow? You do anonymous follows here. But I appreciate the follow. If this was the comics, she's dreaming of Snake Eyes. If this is the cartoon, she's dreaming of Duke. Can I just say, uh-oh, I did not do it. Oh, gravity? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? I hope you didn't get hurt. Huh? Like, are your parents okay? Or... Well, you had me all concerned, because gravity means somebody fell, fell, and that's never good. But wouldn't it be nice to turn it off sometime? <laughs> one day, one day I am, like I know we've got methods of counteracting it, but it's not anti-gravity. It's 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 mag it's magnetic re magnetic re re repulsion, which is not the same, right? You know. Um, but one day I believe. We may be able to. Maybe. I would love to be able to, because then I can turn that damn thing off, float up to something I need to go look at or fix or something, and grab it, and turn it back on. That'd be fantastic. Candy Mandy looking for another submission victory. Can't we just hitch... A ride in the space elevator? Uh, I mean, we could. I, I would be afraid of, like, a Mars scenario. Uh, there was a series of books called Red Mars, Green Mars, Blue Mars. Candy Mandy is your winner, and they made one, and uh, people bombed it, and it fell, and it wrapped around the planet, basically. Here's your winner, Candy Mandy! Like, imagine being strapped into a zero-G bed. Ooh. Ooh. I'd be, I mean, the closest thing, I guess, is like... Like a water bed, right? But I would never want a, a water bed. Are you recapping the plot of Star Trek Into Dark? Oh, is that, is that what they did? I mean, I forgot. I've I've watched it a long time ago. This, was that the girl where she was like all white, like white, white, like white, 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 white face and with like black marks on her head and stuff or maybe her face too. Right. Was it that one or was that the uh, one with Khan? Okay. That was beyond. Okay. Um, so red Mars, green Mars, blue Mars is basically, it, it spans about a course about 300 years or so. And it's about humans going to Mars and doing stuff, right? Just science, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, one of the things was that they made a space hell, hell elevator to help get things up to space without having to do rocket fuel and all that kind of crap. 
And some of the people that were starting to be born on, on Mars were getting mad that Mars was being changed and, and, and terraformed to be something that Mars wasn't, you know, to make it more Earth-like instead of just leaving it as the red rock, like, like the rusty red rock, right? And so then they bombed the thing and it like fell and it all like didn't I, I don't think it wrapped the whole way around from what I remember, but maybe like halfway, but this big anyway. anyway so that was a whole thing. That was like, oh dude. Uh let me do payouts, sorry. Get me all excited about that show. Or books. Uh the author is Kim Stanley Robinson. I understand, from what I remember. And then he did another book called 20. 25, 35 or something that was supposed to be set a couple hundred years after those three books. And it was more about us being on, on, Mer on Mercury and Venus and all the other planets and uh, Titan. Anyways, it was, it was a cool glimpse at, you know, a possible future of what we could do and not very um, sci-fi, trying to stay more science-y, right? Versus just making shit up. Like, oh, we can do warp drive and and teleporters, right? Like, anyways, you know what I mean, right? It would be similar in scope to um, The Expanse, but The Expanse, I think, was a little bit more on the sci-fi side because aliens and then the portal thingy, right? You know, that kind of thing. But uh, this this was more, more away from that on the more of the fact-ish side. Anyways, we have a tag team match, non-title matchup. Misfits taking on Sugar and Spice. Maximum bet is 500. You saw William Shatner doing TV live before he came on before he came on stage with the show. Oh, nice. The following tag team match is scheduled for one fall. First. Hailing from St. Petersburg, Russia, at a total combined weight of 315 pounds, Svetlana Borochev and Elizaveta Usov, the Misfits. They are four for eight as a tag team. Svetlana is an NPC wrestler, and Elizaveta Usov, who's in the ring right now, is managed by yours truly. As waiting for something to come out of what Oh, out of that abyss hole you got behind just stone? Wait, oh! I was like, what, the abyss hole? Then I was starting to think you were talking about the abyss. That is also one of my favorite movies that I can watch forever and ever. I think the most disturbing scene in the whole movie is when they were losing air, and then one of them, me to die <laughs> and then they swam back <laughs> like oh my god I felt tension that's for sure their opponents at a total combined weight of 255 pounds Maddie Hunter and the Baker they are your women's tag team champions sugar and spice Sugar and Spice are 86 for 154, have held that title for a record ninth time. Their current reign is at 43 days. They will be defending it shortly at Halloween Havoc on Friday, what? November the 1st. Maddie Hunter is managed by Maddie I'm Hunter. the boss. And the Baker is managed by Kiri. You always remember his ring saving his hand. Yup. Yeah. Dazu. I might have to time you out. Here we go. Non title matchup. And he does it on purpose. And he's like, <laughs> I see you. You should go to the, one of their matches and be like, you ripped off. Sugar and Spice. Right, Golden Star is starting up a heist. Ah. 
I think even if the Misfits win this match, uh, I think the number one contender stuff for the Women's Tag Team title will be likely Fierce Ladies, and I don't think there's anyone close. But I'll have to double check. This time next Wednesday, uh, we will be having a double long Galactic Wrestling show for all the number one matches. It's scheduled for 18 matches, but I think we only need 16. So we'll we'll see, but it's definitely going to be more than the usual nine. Uh, and if we have lurker matches, we'll probably not do them on that day. Because the extra long show is probably going to be extra hard on the body. I mean, WoW is up in LA. You should absolutely go. Be like, listen, this is real sugar and spice. Oh my, that's long. It's long and strong. Long and hard. Mercy. I uh, slept pretty good last night. Don't really remember much of my dreams. Like late, lately, I'm not remembering a lot of my dreams. I just, I don't know. I wait. I wake up and oh, dreams over. And all right, let's go. And oh, wait, what the hell did I have a dream about? No. Right. Ooh, wow. Svetlana got rammed. Advertisements. There's a thousand for everyone. Svetlana. Nope. I have heard that Usov uh, has not been very happy with Svetlana's. Uh, performance and now this is not me saying it. I just heard people talking backstage that Usov is like Svalana you can do better and you need to do better because they had a match like two weeks ago and they lost it and the rumor was that Usov gave Barocchia the Stern talk, talking to. All right, heist results are in. Golden Star got sealed in King Tut's tomb. Well, that's not good. I made it. Kerry made it. Isaac made it. No vault. But Golden Star. <laughs> Man. Golden Star. Just can't, can't buy one. Yeah. Gunstar got hot boxed. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, do you know what a hot box is? Because I can show you. You're not. You're probably not not gonna like it but you know as your ever loving part part partner for life i am more than happy to show you <laughs> she's gonna be like oh god no oh wow it was like an inverted body spinning power slam what the Maybe you're thinking about Dutch oven. Isn't it the same thing? Yeah. Whee! Yeah, you're well a Dutch oven, no, it's the same it's the same thing. I mean King King Touch too, what you were saying it smells like farts? Oh. 
Well, okay. Well, okay. Then, and then I misunderstood. Oh, wow. Tag team. At oh, and then uh, Usav works on it. Although, the way that Usav broke that up, it looked like she hit Svetlana instead of hitting the Baker. Was that accidentally on purpose? Is there trouble in paradise? We don't know. Oh, Jaffe, what are you doing? No, I want you back. And now I want you front. Now I want you back. Now I'm gonna... Yeah, right? Trouble in paradise. It's true, right? LB knows. Ooh. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I did not upload the blob video. I forgot. Ah, all right. I'm going to have to put that up as a reel, too, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work as a reel because reels are generally meant for... Ooh, there we go. Whoa, and so Maddie Hunter pinned Svetlana. That's not good. Here are your winners, the women's tag team champions, Sugar and Spice. That was the hit the hit the hit squad sling. Uh well, I mean they weren't exclusive to it, but they were definitely what brought it out as a saying because it was like, ooh. They definitely certainly had their their uh, ups and downs, I guess. GG, Carrie and Maddie. Speaking of Blob, do you want to do it one more time while we load this match? Because Blob is wrestling now, so let's let's uh talk with blob let's let's uh, go see what blob does before a match and we were able to to uh fall fall follow him uh before one of his matches a couple weeks ago and we were able to put this all together so here, here. no wrong button my breakfast. I'm now on second breakfast. I still need elevenses, luncheon, afternoon tea, dinner, <laughs> and supper before I get in the ring. <laughs> God damn. Uh... <laughs> and then like the shrinking is because <laughs> I can't get him to walk away. Now closed. <laughs> uh, you couldn't do that after the match. No way, it's gotta do it now. It won't they won't let you click. I know so I didn't realize it said that, and then Carrie's like click for details. I'm like, what? She goes, it says that on the side. I'm like, ah, you know what? Leave it. It'll be funny. And let let people click. All right. Uh, Sora Kimura taking on Blob. One on one. Maximum bet is 500. Here we go.
It made the screen bigger. Oh, did you double click it? What the hell, man? The following match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Kyoto, Japan, weighing 226 pounds, Sora Kimura. Kimura is three for four in singles matches, managed by Golden Star. Yeah, I don't know, man. I know I double checked it again. I think there must be something wrong with the video titan, like the vid, like the video itself, to not play. So annoying. When we're done with the matches, we'll like I'll actually show you to see what I've done. His opponent, hailing from Swansea, Wales, weighing 505 pounds, Blob. Blob is 22 for 49, just finished destroying Bangkok Cafe, Bangkok Garden. He's managed by Fakai Murphy. I'm hoping he can get access to his computer. I did send him a video, but after his fire, he wasn't sure if his computer actually sur survived. Ugh. All right, here we go. HTTP version not supported? What? What? What the hell are you talking about? Oh no. Oh no. Well, Kamura! Got the hell out of there just in time. Oh, that was close. Hey, great one. How are you? That was a near miss. Like, oh my goodness. Sora Kimura getting thrown around by Blob. Almost like Sora Kimura owes him a meal. And Kimura's not paying up. That's what got Blob all mad. You promised me sushi! Wow. Round and round and round. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I don't think I've seen that move. Gosh. What the? Oh, Kimura reversed it. Okay. You know, whenever I look at Kimura's face, I think of um, the V, the V for Ven, Ven, Vendetta mask, because he's got like the, the the mustache thing going on there, right? And, like the little go 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 tea thingy. Yeah, and I did I didn't realize it until like I think this past week, and I'm like, why does his face look familiar? And I don't know why. <laughs> Ooh, wow. I guess he used Blob's momentum against him, but good lord, that was a feat of strength by Kamara. Big power slam. Huge. Gar gar gargantuan, if you will. Oh, careful, man. You're going to, like, break the ring. You can't, can't do that. Oh, no. Well, it is starting. 
don't know why I got hiccups, but okay. Off the ropes, up and over. Oh, knee to the buffet basket. Huh? Huh? Buffet basket? Did you see what I did there? Ah. I haven't been drinking. At all. I had soup. Can you make me the left leftover rice with turkey broth and chicken? Parsley and carrots was yum yum. Wow, Sora! Soar off through the air. Two. Oh, only one count. It was a call. I thought it was two, but Jeffy claims it was one. Oh, boy. Blob could be in big trouble here. Wow. How did he get that massive girth up and over? Two. Got him this time. Blob needs to go back to the buffet. Here is your winner, Sora Kimura! Maybe I'll go back into the video and then re-render it. Anyways, GG, Golden Star. Now you can eat all you want, Blob. Mm. Sora is your winner. Okay. 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 Uh, all right, we got Chris Redfield taking on Toasty. Maximum bet, 500. Here we go. Okay. The following match is scheduled for one fall. Hailing from Raccoon City, weighing 253 pounds, Chris Redfield. Chris Redfield is a 27. No, is 27 for 56. 1 and 0 against Toasty. He is managed by Adams. The druid with the tude. Mercy. You. He's pointing at you. opponent hailing from Winnipeg Canada weighing 290 pounds Toasty Toasty is 40 for 87 in the singles matches one half of the poutine pounders he is managed by Toasty Toasty he loves rubbing in the gloves are off trade that he did with me that eventually also screwed me over. Because Austin freaking Matthews. God.
someone else do heist? Okay. Heist on. Get on in! Ooh, big splash. My toasty. Hey, yo. This is Mr. Fix-It here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate or else. All right, we've got Carry joined, Golden Star joined, Great One joined, Isaac, Isaac joined, Rosa joined, Dante's joined, that's seven, Voodoo's joined, that's eight. Uh, Isaac, I don't know, I probably gave you an invite, but if you ever feel like you want to join for wrestling, you are more than wel wel welcome to. And it doesn't mean that you got to join tomorrow or next week if you want to, if it's like a month from now or two months from now, that's all good. Just let me know. And if I've already told you that, sorry, but my old man brain is, is uh, not great. Uh, Dave's joined. Hey, Dave, how are you, man? Adam's joined. Adam's. No battles. I haven't told you that? Oh, well. My bad. Uh, if you have a wrestler with the game cool uh or if you are already getting or landria to do one for you guys but may not want to do that one in particular like that's fine too you can also make stuff for you but again there's like no rush oh, yeah. like you don't have to oh my god we gotta do it now but if you want to do it like a like as soon as you can like that i'm cool with that too I think Mr. Lantria is finding out the joys of 2K24. She's having it crash on her on one of her wrestlers that she's trying to do like the, the, the entrance to. And she's like, God damn it. And I'm like, yep. Now you're one of us. <laughs> Shit. I mean, it sucks, but uh, you know. So I had that happen. I think Golden Star, I think it was your wrestler that I think it was, uh, was it yours? No, no. Was it yours? It was crashing. Yeah. And then I had to like copy everything over to a completely new wrestler and then it worked fine. Uh, 2K, man. 2K. I mean, it's a great game, but then, you know. Good lord. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Chris Redfield. Missed with the roundhouse. And Toasty ducked over it. Or ducked under it. Ducked over? I mean, if you're getting ducked over, it's uh, probably Dezu's fault. Cause he, cause he ducks over everyone. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go, Toasty. Ooh, Toasty picks up the win. What? What? I said Toasty picks up the win. Hey, Goldstar. Here is your winner, Toasty. GG Toasty.
Toast is your winner. All right, let me see. Oh, heist results, heist results. Uh, I lost my net connection, couldn't get directions to the bank. Bro, I, I'm a walking map, all right? I know where where things are. I know directions, okay? Um, was ratted out. Uh, Kerry was ratted out by Manny. What a fiend. Oh, rip. Golden Star made it. So maybe the jinx is over. Uh, great one made it. Isaac was accidentally translocated to farm country. Oh, that's not great. Uh, Rosa lost their equipment? What? Dante got stuck inside a giant bachelor party cake. Dante, what are you doing in there? Well, you know what? I'm not judging. I'm just, what are you doing in there? 20 bucks is 20 bucks, right? Voodoo made it. Dave made it. Adams made it. Nice. Oh, five. Five out of ten. Isaac killed the trend. Wait, what? And Stone. Wait, what? What are you talking about? What do you mean? What? 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 All right, we got triple threat match. One fall to a finish. Maximum bet is what? 1,000 golden stars messing with me now. And it's easy to because, you know, right. because it's me. <laughs> the following triple threat match is scheduled for one fall. First, hailing from Fresno, California, weighing 228 pounds, Storm Shadow. Now, Storm Shadow is two for two in triple threats. Freshly transferred over from Nova to Paragon's brand. What? Okay, I got it. I'm where trends go to die. What the fuck? What? Okay, hold on here. Yeah, but Golden Star, you made it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so confused. See, it's so easy to get me confused. That's it. What? what? <laughs> Hailing from Calgary, Canada, weighing 274 pounds, Triple C, Cowboy Kurt Cunningham. Triple C is five for 30 in triple threats, managed by Dante Moon. Forever seven of nine. Let's see, so Golden made it. I didn't this time, so trend changed. Oh, the farm by the sea. Okay, so trend changed. What, so we were winning and he wasn't and now it's like flip? Okay. Okay. Making his way to the ring, hailing from Georgia, USA, weighing 240 pounds, he is your men's universal champion, Dr. Bacon. Dr. Bacon is nine for 23. Held that for 35 days, will defend it at Halloween Havoc on November 1st. The title is not on the line in this match. 
But pinning Dr. Bacon would give you a lot of power ranking points. He is managed by Seraphis. Crowd simulator has messed up. Dude, oh man. I think L L LB can attest. Like, even years ago, he, you know, I could tell he's like, what the hell, Stone? I forget stuff I talk about 30 seconds late. And it's, what? Like I said, what? And he's like, you just said it. I'm like, uh, no. What are you talking about? And I'm like literally confused. I'm, ge I'm genuinely confused. Because I just, I forget, man. It confused so quickly. Right, one fall to a finish. Gonna happen in the ring. I think a movie that would easily sum me up is dazed and confused. <laughs> out one hole. It <laughs> stays out. <laughs> Stabber. Oh, mercy. Manaja. Okay, so uh, Golden Star, Golden Star, Golden Star. Uh, the plan will be... We'll end the recording, but not the stream. And then I'll jump back into the scene to show the game for you. And then you can see what I've, I've done. And I don't know why it just doesn't like your Titan Tron. So, so bizarre, too. Oh, well, Dr. Bacon snapped into a slim gym. That wasn't enough. Wow, Sleeper, looking for a submission victory. We haven't had a submission for a bit. Oh, shut the chair at Triple C right from behind. Born Shadow. Oh, while that champ is down and out. Off the ropes. Oh, well, Storm Shadow going to win the recovery. Oh, and Jeffy down. Dr. Bacon nailed Jeffy on the way to break up the pen attempt. And Sharpshooter, can you imagine if he taps right here and Jeffy is down? Well, he doesn't. But, man. Ooh. Wow, Jeffy's still down. Is Jeffy dead? Oh, maybe not. Storm Shadow going in for the cover just as Jeffy gets up. <laughs> Two! <no. laughs> Dude, that would have been... Oh, boy. That would have been something. 
would have been like if it was on TV. Oh, it's Slim Jim time. He threw it, missed him. Wow, everyone's like trying to throw things and missing. Uh -huh. Okay, very quick kicking out. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of rooting for our, our ninja guy here to get a perfect three for three. <laughs> But <laughs> just just for the sake of it to be like, look, he's an N NPC wrestler and he rules at triple threats, you know? <laughs> I think Dr. Bacon's going to win it right here. Because he's going to do this. Boop. Dr. Bacon's going to come on in. Oh, no. Yeah. I thought Dr. Bacon was going to take out Storm Shadow. He did. Now Dr. Bacon's going to focus on Cowboy Kurt, who just got a knee to the face. Going for the cover. Got him. So almost correct-ish, right, in what I was saying. Like, I think Dr. Bacon's going to win it right there. A little bit off, but... Here is your winner, the Men's Universal Champion, Dr. Bacon! That's actually not, not blood, it's bacon grease. It's just dyed red to make sure that people don't freak out. To make it look like it's blood. Yeah, yeah. GG, Dr. Bacon. One more match. Uno mas. Uno mas. Bacon is your winner. All right. Next match is a best two out of three falls tables match between the women's universal champion, Maple Marksman, and Angelina DeForte. They had a thing where DeForte beat her, beat the champion in a non title match, and uh, we didn't really see it, but we heard in behind the scenes that they had come to like kind of a mutual respect thing, and uh, then they got into a little thing going on, and Maple Marksman beat DeForte, and then start and chucked her through a table, so I thought, you know what, what better way to possibly end off their rivalry to uh, than having a best two out of three falls tables match? Let's do it. Maximum bet will be 1,000. Title is not on the line. Here we go. The following tables match is scheduled for a best two out of three falls and is the main event of the show. First, hailing from Pompeii, weighing 140 pounds, Angelina DiForte. DiForte is two for three. One and one against Maple Marksman. She is an NPC wrestler, but has been kicking ass and taking names. She had her brother here at one point, but he has been re retired to the benches. Her opponent, hailing from the HRM, weighing 141 pounds, she is your women's universal champion, Maple Marksman. Marksman is 35 for 61. Held the title for 43 days. We'll be defending that again on uh, February, November the 1st. 
against somebody could be this person she's facing right now. It's possible. She is managed by nothing. She pointed right at you and said, rawr, rawr. Bring in the scorecard. Two out of three falls, tables. The announcer table counts, but I don't think we've ever had an announcer table break when it was a tables match. We've had them break a couple times, but uh, not for a tables match. Real marksman on the top! Oh, yeah. Marksman again. Ah, eat to dirt. Eat that dirty mat. Although you'd think in our location beyond time and space, we would have found a way to keep that mat super duper clean. So maybe it gets cleaned every time. And it's a simple matter of pushing a button and boop. Cleaned. Uh oh, marksman. Here we go. Table time. She's like, here we go. Oh, oh no. Marksman just about lost her head. Oh, well, her head also met the table. from what our new rules were with if you beat a champion even if it's a non-title you'll get into the number one contender spot or into a match to let you compete to take on the champion even if your power ranking points are not high Oh, Maple Marks is like, this is not the table for me. Well, maybe this one is. And boop. How do you like those turntables? Huh? Huh? Oh, now she's just waiting for you. All right, Golden Star, going to do it again. Oh, Golden Star did it. Bam, he said. Golden Star is starting up a heist. Hey yo, hey, yo, this is Mr. Fix it oh, here. here we go. To inform to you, there's a heist being finished. This is your cue to participate. Or else. Marksman takes a 1 0 lead. How the turntables. Yes! How the turns tabled? Something. What is that? A door? Oh yeah. That's not a table. What are you doing? Uh, DeForte brought out a door. Maybe because she's from 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 from, Pom from Pompeii. Maybe she doesn't know what doors are. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. Only if you have two turntables and a microphone. What? I have never seen a door in this game. Is it part of a DLC? Uh, I think so. It was one of them a couple months ago. Wow, the door uh, looks like it's... Uh... Oh, is this going to count as a table? 
if she puts her through the door, I don't know. That would be hilarious. What the? The Forte? What are you doing? The Forte does need to get on the board. Yeah, I want to see somebody go through that door and see if it's going to count. And maybe if it does, they're just like, hey, it's just because it broke wood or something, man. Oh, wow, that chair, careful! That chair went flying back into the crowd. That's two things gone through into the crowd. First, a kendo stick during our first matchup. And now a chair. <laughs> All right, we got a table in one corner, door in the other. Another table down low. Oh, Mark Smith's going to get that on up. And chuck it. Lost her head again. And put her through the door. For science, exactly. Come on. She grabs her by the scruff of her neck. Oh no. Ah, God. Well. <laughs> that table went flying. All right. Heist results are coming in. Golden Star made it. Hey, there we go. I had a light bulb moment and re realized crime doesn't pay. That's only if you don't get caught. Or, I mean, only if you do get caught. Uh, Carrie fell into a food coma. Rosa accidentally de de detonate detonated the explosive hit for the vault. That's not good. Isaac formed a music band and went to a gig instead. Wow, Golden Star was the only one to make it. The hell? Oh, getting chucked into the only open corner of the ring. <laughs> Good. Ooh, did you hear that? It sounded like she may have broke her back. Like she landed, and when she landed, you hear like cracking. Wow. Go ahead and start to start the next heist? Sure. We're not just as long as we can all win. Yeah, yeah. Paper marks are going around the long way. Oh, picked her right on up. Okay, she got her in the corner. Come on. Into the door. Into the door. Maybe. Nope. Into the ropes. Drop down. Wow. Right in the face. Oh boy. Somebody's gotta tell DeForte that this is a tables match. Um I realize the title is not on the line, but really. We'll pick her on up. Shucks her. Maybe try chucking her through a table. Oh, DeForte. Got Marksman into the door for science. Oh, no, Marksman. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, here we go. Marksman got to Forte in there. I think it's going to count. Picks her up, and she's going to throw her like a lawn dart. Did that count? It did not count. Okay. But the door has been obliterated. Does not count as a table. I mean, it shouldn't, but you never know, right? It's 2K. Two, it's two <laughs> right? At least we know, and knowing is half the battle. Cobra! Marksman on the top. Oh, uh, well. Okay. Oh, her back! Win or lose, she still wins in your books. You should put her through a door. Oh, Slim Jim. Oh, watch out. Holy moly. Slim, Slim Jim's flying around. A kendo stick. Chairs. My God. Speaking of kendo sticks, here we go. Ah. What? 
Oh boy. Oh, into the whoops. <laughs> on this on this special episode of SGWF, we determine definitively that doors are not tables. <laughs> you don't think this is a table match anymore? I know, right? Uh, I did. I did make it so that there's not all just tables down there. On purpose. Whee! Angelina. You can do it. Now, with her win on uh, over Marksman from a couple weeks ago, uh, we know that DeForte will be in the number one contender match for Marksman's title. But whether or not she can win that and then go face Marksman again, we'll, we'll see. What the hell? Oh, it's the Chalupa. Here we go. You thought it was typical 2, 2K stuff? I know. I mean, I, I could have just sat back and given the blame to 2, 2K and everybody would have believed it <laughs> because 2K, right? Freaking 2K. Oh, what the hell? They both missed. Oh, Lord. Oh, Marks was like around the world, baby. And again, oh, Marksman looking to punish DeForte. I mean, in theory, this could be the final time that they meet. Into the apron. Oh, God. Oh, oh. what's she going for? Kendo time. God. Oh, midsection head. Jeebus. The flippy dippy stuff by Maple Marksman. Oh, come on. And she's just like, look at me. Floating like a butterfly. Stinging like a marksman. Wow, dead left over. Holy cow. Oh. Inside the ring, maybe. Nope. Maybe she meant we're gonna go into every corner. Oh, rocking out. <laughs> Slim Jim. Mm. All right, here we go. Slim Jim, right upside the back of the head. Aye, and again. Oh. <laughs> I love the Slim Jim. I love it. Oh, damn. Holy, oh, she's just beating the living crap. And now on the knees. Oh, my God. Wow, Maple Marksman beating the snot out of DeForte as if she owed her money. Like, <laughs> give me what? Give me my money. Pay up. All right, checked her back inside the ring. I think DeForte may be done. Now it's a simple matter of putting her through a table to get that final score. Marksman going to the top. Imagine getting oofed <laughs> by a Slim Jim. She was like, Slim Jim. Ah, oh, Marksman again. To the toe, oh my God. 
if DeForte comes out of this match being hurt, I would not be surprised. Marksman is just doing move after move of, of, of just hurting her, you know? Oh my god, wow! Physics defying. But I'm going to the far corner. Hey, where'd the other... Oh, there's the other table. I was like, where'd the other table go? She ain't done with him. She's going to the top. DeForte is like, she don't know if she's here or in, Pom in Pompeii. If she's up or down, left or right. She's just like, mommy. She actually could use the help of her brother here. Why don't you put her into the table, bro? Oh, no. She ain't done. She's chucking her back outside. Oh, God. Marksman off the ropes. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think I've seen DeForte fight back in a good five minutes. Kim Floyd. To Forte and Morta. <laughs> My God. Holy cow. Oh, wow. Well, some life by De Forte. Little life. Teeny tiny. They keep going on there to look for something. Eh? Hey, Taven, what's up? This is our main event. Marksman is up 1-0, and it's a tables match, and they've been beating the snot out of each other. It's a best two out of three falls match, so Marksman needs to put the forte for one more table and they're both set up in the corner she did bring out the door and we found out that the doors don't count Ooh, oh i thought she was going to clear off oh no oh we're going out into the crowd or not I was like, oh, are they going to go back into the, to that little area where there could be tables too? I think I have a couple out there. Maybe. I would love to see this end on a commentator desk uh, explosion. You know? But first you need to get the desk cleared off. Marksman is like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, see, she keep I think I think what they're doing is trying to go get more stuff. Maybe. The forte. Is she gonna go the wrong way? Nope, she's gonna oh it's chill time. Oh god. Well, here we go. Missed that. Won't be able to get the shot in, and ah, Marksman got her. Oh, here's the chair you were gonna nail me with. Marksman, oh god, going to the top. Oh, fudge. Okay, put her through the table, finish this, because. How much more are you going to do to her? She's going to go into that corner. Sets her up again. I feel like they don't like the close corners very much. And the flippy dippy. The physics defying maneuvers that, uh, that LB Fraga was so good at. Wow. That's not going to do anything. You still gotta put her through the table. Into the corner again. Her brain is squirming like a toad.
Oh, she taunts her to her feet. Again, physics to fine. I think Maple Marksman's like getting tired. She was like, what? What do I need to do to win this? And everyone's trying to scream at her. Put her through the table. You know, it's possible they've both for forgotten how long, I mean, or how to win this match. Even though, even though the broken table there should be the clue. Marksman, oh, she's going to go five up. This is true. She she is she's always been a high flyer. We just have never really given her a match that was this long. Oh, here we go. Oh boy, can DeForte Oh, DeForte is going to tie this up. Are you kidding? DeForte ties it up at 1. Wow. Okay. There's one table left. It's in the corner. After getting the spaghetti beaten out of her. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Oh, she's walking away. Where are you going? To Forte, what are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, she's getting the Slim Jim. Right. This is payback time for the Slim Jim beaten she took earlier in the match. Wow. She's like, how does it feel? Oh, into the table to add insult to injury. Slim Jim. Oh, she, I'm, so, I'm shocked. Wow. I thought DeForte had it. My God. Oh, God. <laughs> She's just beating the snot out of her. She just won't stop. Whoa. to the table. <laughs> Marksman. Oh my god, the fort. I can't breathe. Wow. Oh, oh my face. Holy moly. Oh no. <laughs> She's missing missing. What are you doing? <laughs> Marksman may be having an episode. Somebody needs to tell her to stop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Holy fudge. Into the corner that we can't see. Thanks, table. Oh, oh, my face. Oh, my God. Holy moly. Oh, oh I am spent. Where are you going? Into the table, DeForte. No, no. Let's <laughs> do it again. Oh. <sighs> it ain't over. Just when we thought it was gonna be over, you know, like they were, it was gonna wrap up. No, they're like, nah. 
Nah, bro. We got more. <laughs> oh, my cheeks, man. My face is so sore. Oh, Lord. Put, her, put them through the commentator's table. That would be a great ending. All right, Marksman is inside. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> ten, eleven. I eleven. The 11 times a charm, 12. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. oh my God. Oh, turn around, no. Ah. Oh. Is she gonna like, maybe? Oh, so close. Like if it had clipped it and broke it, it would have counted. Ah, oh, dude. DeForte. Yes. Yes, you're strong. Now put her through the table. Holy moly. Oh, my God. face, man, my face. You know what is really impressive, too, is that the Slim Jim has taken such a beating and it's still in one piece. But tables, doors, yeah, man. Nah. The Slim Jim never breaks. What 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 does that mean? Like you did that like 20 minutes ago. Is it over? Well, I think they're both dead. Look at them. The carnage. <laughs> the chaos. <laughs> Kids need to look away. Don't look at them. Oh my god, they're both dead. We need this match to go another 20 minutes. 20 more minutes, all right? Oh. <laughs> Just for Dazul. Special for Mr. Ducksworth. Oh, where are you going? Whoa. Oh, man. Yes, we're telling you. What are you doing? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no. Wrong, <laughs> Wrong corner. Now we can't see. No. Oh. Oh, man. Huh. I don't know if this is a great advertisement for Slim Jim or not. That thing has taken a beating and it's still in one piece. So I don't know what that says about the Slim Jim. <laughs> now to Forte.
Mercy. Okay, clear off the table. Don't worry about the Slim Jim. Clear off the table. No. Oh, man, again. Well. Hmm. I have a suspicion something's about to happen. Slim Jim. <laughs> that wasn't my suspicion. I've noticed that even though the game is my focus, that it's actually starting to slow down. And I'm wondering if it's going to crash. If it crashes, we're not restarting the match. It's going to end in a 1 1 tie. Just by the back. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Wow. Trying to re recreate the beating that she gave to Forte in the corner right near where they were or are. Chuck her back in the ring, bro. Oh, my lord. <laughs> they love the Slim Jim. <laughs> There's so many jokes to be had here, too. <laughs> what? <It's just> <laughs> I love that they're just trying to wail away and they're hitting nothing. Oh. Where, where? Going to underneath the apron? Wait, what? Where the hell is Marksman going? <laughs> Marksman's decided to go walk about. Uh... <laughs> they got tackled into the barricade. <laughs> All right, DeForte. Dead left trucker in the corner. Ah, oh, right on like the broken table. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Just got to get him in the other corner. Whoop. What the? Oh, wow. Well. What are you doing? Oh, I was like, don't go for the Slim Jim again. We got her. Pin her. Maybe that'll count. <laughs> no, is she going for the Slim? No, she's not. I think they're looking for tables and they don't realize like it's actually there. So they've got to be in the corner, I think. And then, and then they may use it. Oh God. Oh, well, okay. Here we are in the corner, in the corner, possible. Possible it's glitched, but they were kind of there a couple times, right? And they had them set up. So I think it, it can be broken. It's just a matter of getting them there. And I don't want to take control because then it's going to be, be a fa be favoritism to one side or the other, and I don't want to do that. Ugh. Oh, 
Both are dead. Or wish they were. Maybe she'll get up and throw her into the other corner. Maybe. Or not. <laughs> what? Where are you going? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. No. Oh, I thought it was going to crash. I'm going to reset the sound in a sec. Okay. Oh, I thought it was crashing, man. And I was like, oh. Okay. Now. No. No. That's the wrong way. <clears throat> oh, fuck. <laughs> right on the chest. Okay, now. Rawr. No. No. Oh, my God. The, the flippy dippies. Oh, it's coming. It's not coming. <laughs> what? Damn. Holy. I thought I thought it was coming when they locked up. I thought one of them was going into the corner. Hey, she used the slim gym, but it was underneath. Ah. I think the first star of this match is the slim gym. You know, this could just be one big, long, paid advertisement for Slim Jim. Don't you want to snap into a Slim Jim now? Hey, we got a heist going. Let's get the heist. Maybe the heist will get these two to finish things out. Hey, yo. This is Mr. Fix-It here to inform you there's a heist being organized. This is your cue to participate <laughs> or else. I don't know how to do that, <laughs> Golden Star, because I don't play it. <laughs> oh my god, again. have had long long matches before oh, okay now get in there get in there oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. well i said 20 minutes and now we're halfway through that oh come on no ah, no if she had chucked her at a different angle that would have broken the table it would have been over because it doesn't need to be a finishing move, right? As long as it breaks, it's fine. Or does it? I don't know. Here's 20,000 pebbles. More Slim Jim. They're like right there, you know? Ugh, dude. Okay. No! Wrong way! What are you doing? It doesn't need that to be a Sega frame? Okay. Yeah, I figured it was as long as it broke. Yeah, we've seen it before where it just happened to break because somebody got an arm an arm through it and it wasn't even close and the table exploded but i don't think it was in 24 so it wasn't 
sure if the same rules applied. Oh my god. Both dead. All right, we got six in the heist. We need more. I don't know about match. I mean, it, it would have been if it ended that that flurry, right? You know, the flurry where DeFort DeForte tied it up and then it looked like she was actually going to win. And then they just decided, nah, bro, we've still got another 15 minutes in us. <laughs> Dude. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God. Like the chair is broken. Oh, she, she just checks it. Nah. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, Marksman. Alright, heist results are coming in. Dazul made it. I made it. Golden Star made it. Isaac, nope. Got put into a sleeper hold by this match. Great one made it. Rosa got mistaken for a hostage and was released with no loot. Rip. Dante made it. Carry made it. Dave was distracted by Elf on the shelf. Oh. Hey, we got a jackpot. 92,000. For what, six of us? One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Congrats, congrats. And again, with the Slim Jim. Not sure, actually. I think it's 10 million, but. Okay, throw her back in. This is an Iron Slim Jim match with how much work that meat is putting. <laughs> in. Oh, dude. Like I said, I don't I don't know if this is good advertising for Slim Jim or not. Wait, what? What's wait, what for the The limit for a person? No, no, I think I, I think the limit for a person I think is 10 million. We've got some people that are, I think we got one, I think Carrie's up in like five million territory. So I did, I think there was a 10 million one because we were doing this through Mix It Up at one at one point, like we like we were doing it through a stream hour events and then we moved over to Mix It Up and then I moved back.
Okay, in two and a half minutes. Remember, remember I, how I said another 20 more minutes? Well, that will be in two and a half minutes. If we don't see anything in two and a half minutes. I am going to uh, wait for one of them to be down and out. I'm going to take control of the other one, and then I'm going to go grab the table if I can and move it to, like, the middle of the ring so it's just out there. And then I'll let them go again. Or I'll probably move the one I'm taking control to go outside of the ring. It's possible that nobody could get hurt because it doesn't consider the amount of time spent in the match. Uh, I do for tables match, it's like a plus 10% increase. Oh, come on, bro. Wrong corner. And then, yep, my finisher. For a minute and a half. Oh my god, the Slim Jim. <laughs> and then she's like, no, it's my turn. Uh, uh, it's been like this the whole match. This match started before 2 o'clock, or before 3. This is probably our longest singles match. Maybe. Maybe. We'll have to see. It's possible. Well, we got about 30 seconds until I'm going to take control of one of them. Wrong corner. Okay, next time somebody's done a move that the other person is like down and out, then I'm gonna take control of the one that's up. And maybe like this. Uh, okay. Don't know how to do it. Do, 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 do. How do I do it? I don't, I, so I don't know how to control. That's what I'm talking about. All right, well, she's getting back up, so. I don't know how to control it, you know? I was hitting the buttons, but I don't know. Okay, when she lands this. All right, let's give her a go. Maybe we'll get a little bit more time here. So how do you, how do you like pick it up? Shift, enter, I don't, I don't know. Oh. Uh, okay, hold on, let me see, let me see. Can we, oh. I don't know. So I don't know how to control it because I don't really play it. Like, I was thinking, okay, maybe let's go to the commentator's table and clear clear that off, right? No Show no mercy, let's go. Well, maybe. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I can't remember. Nope. Uh. You is pick up drop items. Okay, I will try that. I definitely didn't hit them. Right, let's see. Thank you, Elby.
You. Nope. You. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's bring that over here. And you. Now let's get her outside. Just to kind of make it a little bit more fair. And all right, so they're both up. And let's see what happens. Normally, I wouldn't like to do this, but okay, here we go. See, that's fine. That's fine. But they're picking it up. So that's good. Yeah. The hand of God, right? Oh, just set the table up, bro. I do not like to do this, but once in a while, you got, you gotta, I guess you gotta kind of encourage them. What are you doing? Set the table up. Just, <laughs> I don't know if she's trying to set it up or, there we go, there we go. All right. Gotta be coming soon. Here we go. Into the table. Is this it? There we go. Mabel Marksman. Oh, finally got her. Holy fudge. I still think it's a record. Here is your winner, the Women's Universal Champion, Maple Marksman. What the hell? All right, you. All right. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow. Now let me do payouts. My God, this match needs to be a highlight. Well, the whole show is a highlight. Like I, like that's how I do it. Like anytime we do like a, a show, I just make the whole thing. Yeah, I think, uh, so normally I don't like to do that kind of stuff, but I think it would have gone for a lot longer. Um, and, uh, you know, eh. All right. exclamation mark lurk. And then exclamation mark enter. Uh, we won't be live tomorrow. We will be live Friday at 1 p.m. for Eclipse Wrestling. Um, yeah. So we're going to do the lurker draw. We'll do the ending of the recording. And Golden Star, if you want to hang around, you can see I'll show you. Um, uh, how to... Or not show you how to show you what I was doing for your Titantron. Because I don't know what else to do. Anyways, uh, thank you all for hanging out. Uh, Anonymous, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Oi. Yeah. Uh, who posted? Media? Family Guy? G.I. Joe? What? Isaac, I didn't know that was a thing. Family Guy? G.I. Joe? What the? You don't want to clean bathrooms? Are you sure? I mean, you you can come clean mine. I'll leave them like a nice, nice present for you. It'll smell like roses. <sighs> All right, we're going to do the draw. If I win, you know, we'll redraw. If you're sub, you get more points. Um, then we'll do the draw from the boxy box. And then uh, we're not going to go offline, but we'll take another five minutes to go look at the Titan Tron. Taven, thank you for contributing to our main event challenge. All right, in five, four, three, two, one, go. Taven, 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 Taven. 
Taven subbed. Taven add points. Taven XL. Great. All right. It's going to get really loud. I'm going to do the draw. You may want to turn down your speakers. Ah, too late, Adams. Sorry, man. In five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. All right. Taven, Taven, Taven. Taven gets, uh, what's this one, right here? Oh, another 10,000. With my shaky hands, sorry. Yeah, no. yeah, Ten thousand. And points. Oh, uh, T and XL. Ten thousand. All right. Uh, I appreciate you all sharing your time with me. That says ten thousand K. No, it said ten K. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Uh, you're messing me. Oh yeah, sure, man. I'll be raiding from about 8 till 11, but uh, before that, I should be able to pick it up if you're ready, or even tomorrow, during the day, or during the night, or whatever. Nice try, Isaac! And, uh... Yeah, so let me know, Taven, and I'll, and I'll grab the wrestler, and, and we can talk, and Isaac, whenever you're... Handling up for, and even if you're not, because we have folks that hang out that don't have a wrestler, and that's cool. And we're just all about the hangout, but you know now, and I have to remember that you know now. So, okay. We're going to end the recording. We're not going offline. Not going offline. Not going offline. Not going offline. Next show is Friday at 1 p.m. Beep, boop, boop.